Dear civil engineers, this is Hidayatullah from School of Civil Engineering. Now, I will show you how we will create reinforcement on our slab. Okay, so uh, to create reinforcement in our slab, we have to click here, application and component, and we have to search here, slab, okay, slab bars. You can see here, there are many options actually, for composite slab, then the many types of slab actually so i will use slab bar and also you can use that option uh, i mean if you know the number 18 then also if you press here 18 it will come clear so select that one okay after selecting i will just it's telling us pick object i'll simply click that object and see here reinforcement have been placed okay after that i'll close it also i'll close it and to i mean to if we need to change our that properties okay if we need to change our slab reinforcement property then what i'll do i'll double click here sorry i'll press control Control two for these types of view. Now I'll double click here for a reinforcement detailing. Okay, now what will be the clear cover in top and in bottom? Okay, now here I will provide clear cover 0 0.75 inch and here 3 by 4, I mean 0 0.75 inch. okay i'll just provide it after that when it's done for our that river okay uh, from face how much away the river will create also you can change that okay now create bars so the both side primary part direction use slab x direction you have to select that one okay so here uh, in uh, y direction okay uh, i mean in which direction your primary bar will be here so in y direction we will provide our primary bar because this is the shorter direction and our x direction are longer direction so i'll use that direction and up direction okay so what will be the up direction auto i'll select auto and um, create bars in both sides okay we'll create bar in both sides or if you need only bottom side or if you need only top side then also you can create that so if you need bar in only uh, bottom side and if you click on modify just see the one layer of river are available so i'll create for both side at this time and in our another lecture i'll show that how we create crank bar on it okay sorry after that uh, after changing that if we go for our bottom river just see here our diameter of primary bar here available um, diameter of primary sorry grade of primary bar and diameter of primary bar so i'll change that i will use number three bar i'll change it and from here you can select the grade of your steel and after that i will use number three main bar okay after three main bar then i'll click okay this is for our bottom bar and a spacing of primary bars so what should be the spacing of your primary bar so and here section type they have number of bar by exact spacing so, a spacing of primary bar what should be the spacing of primary bar so suppose i'll consider our primary bar will be seven inch or uh, five inch clear and here this is for the diameter of our spacing bar i mean i mean our secondary bar so from here i will use that on okay and then number three spacing type here and the spacing i'll consider that spacing will be seven inch 
okay then cover or cover thickness on side okay side cover thickness what should be the side cover thickness is also 0 0.75 inch okay and here bar generating type bar group mesh or bar group so it should be default and crossbar location it should be above or below so uh, i will leave it default in condition left okay they have many options actually they have many options in condition left so what should be the in condition of our bar it should be uh, straight so if you need to use 90 degree then you can use here as 90 degree the band length left what should be the band length so if as our the bar is six inch if you need to provide band length, uh, band length so you can uh, so I, as our slab thickness are five inch so i can select here for 2.5 inch okay i can select 2.5 inch and in condition right in condition right so this is for left in condition and this is for right okay and here also i'll consider 90 degree and from here i'll uh, consider 2.5 inch and in bar for top this is for a uh, bottom condition and in condition top in condition uh, uh, band length top so if you need to change that you can do it so i'll also consider 90 degree and i'll provide a 2.5 inch and here for bottom 90 degree and here 2.5 inch after that i'll go here top bar same everything i have to do here same okay so from here actually i'll just change it in bar 3 main okay and i'll use its spacing for 5 5 inch and for great i'll click here uh, here and after that that is 7 inch actually i'm just giving here a random value if you need to uh, change it you can do it cover 3 by 4 inch okay so uh, it's done and after that same way you can do it as per your requirement okay now i'll click modify and i'll click apply then okay now if you just go here here is our river okay here is our river and for our bottom bar you can see if you just come here here just see this is our slab bottom river that have a good bending okay that have a good bending but for top we didn't consider anything just see here for bottom bar they have bent right they have bent but for our top we didn't provide any band or anything that's why they have no issue so this is the way that how we will create our okay how we'll create our reinforcement detailing for our slab still stay connected till next video and if you want to support us then join as a member in our channel so thank you thank you very much